Jamila is a basic trick, but it's super versatile and you need it for a lot of transitions and invert tricks. So let's get straight into it. Grab the pole with the inside hand and the index finger pointing down. The outside hand grabs the pole in a handshake grip at face level. Bend and lift your inside leg, place it on the pole as close to your hip as possible and then turn towards the pole by pulling your upper body to the other side and bring your hip bones to the pole. This is the basic cradle. Pulling your knees to your chest will increase your stability. The wrist of the bottom hand should always be in a line with the pole. Always train both sides and don't overtrain this trick because it's pretty hard on your wrist and forearm. It can cause a lot of strain and therefore severe pain. That's why you should always warm up your wrist before training this trick and stretch it out afterwards. Step two is the transition into Jamila. From the cradle, spread your legs. Lean back by straightening your top arm and fully extend your legs. Make sure you point your feet to create nice lines. Bring your legs back together and come down from the basic cradle. I love this trick on spinning pole. I take one step with my outside leg and then create momentum by swinging my inside leg around and lifting up my knees so that I end up in the basic cradle. The other option is to perform the Jamila after climbing the pole. After I climb the pole, I bring my hands into the right position and then swing the front leg in a circle around the pole and pull my knees to the chest. This transition can be quite difficult and probably needs some practice, but once you nail it, you will love it. My final tip for you is to work on your active leg flexibility to make this trick even more impressive. Don't forget to like this video, check out the description box below and I would love if you considered subscribing. See you in the next video.